I often hear about the war on Christmas, usually from Bill O'Reilly on Fox News. Well, Bill, uh, today's your lucky day. It turns out there is a war on Christmas, and we found the guy who was waging it. He's a radical rabbi in Israel named Benzi Gopstein. He's the head of the far-right Lahava movement. This is the movement that uh, had its former leader, Mayor Kahani. Uh, and they're largely known for being against all non-Jews, but they made their mark really being against Muslims. So, mm, you know, ruffled some feathers, no question about that. And there are certainly great uh, moderate and left-wing groups in Israel who are very much against them and have been against them for a long time. But here in the U.S., they don't make much news. Well, now they decided to take on Christians. And Christmas now got personal. All right, so let me go to Gopstein's 1,000-word uh, uh, memo here. It's uh, screed a against Christmas, uh, which he then later said he was misrepresented. What are you, Terrell Owens, misquoted in your own autobiography? Okay, so he wrote these words. He says, in a few days, it will be Christmas of the accursed religion. Unfortunately, across the country, you can feel it in the air. Stalls with Christian literature have sprung up all over the country. Christmas trees can be seen in shops and billboard ads funded by taxpayers invite the public to learn about Christianity in the heart of Jerusalem. Now, so far, not too offensive. He doesn't like uh, Christmas. He thinks Christianity is an accursed religion. Mm, a little dicey. Uh, it's about to get much worse. But, uh, but the part I found amusing about that is he's the only person I've ever seen write in a negative way Christmas is in the air. Like me, I, I love the Christmas songs. I love all the goofy stuff we do here in the U.S. with the trees and the Santa and the reindeer and the decorations. Uh, so when Christmas is in the air, I feel like that's a great thing. He looks at it and he's like, ah, Christmas is in the air. <laughs> okay. So um, in his uh, screed titled Eradicate the Vampires, he says, Missionaries spend billions of dollars to get a foothold in the Holy Land. Now, look, um, that's true. They have spent a lot, of, I don't know about billions, but they've spent a lot of money, uh, missionaries, Christian missionaries have. And if you're annoyed by that in Israel, I totally get it. I'm annoyed by Christian missionaries everywhere. I'm agnostic. I don't believe that. And I think that it's not good to spread uh, religion because I'm not religious, right? I don't whether it's Christianity, Judaism, or Islam. Uh, he went on to say that it has, quote, infested entire communities. That's starting to sound a little ugly. Uh, then he uh, took it over the top. He says, I call on Jews to raise their voices and fight the perverse phenomenon of Christianity. Christmas has no place in the Holy Land. Let us remove the vampires from our country before they drink our blood again. We have given them enough already. Now, it is enormously true that uh, Christians throughout history, unfortunately, have done horrible things uh, to Jews throughout the world. Now, calling them vampires today, not that helpful. Again, he says he was misrepresented by his own blog. Dude, you called it eradicate the vampires. So, not really subtle, hard to misrepresent that, and you wrote it. So, he says Christian church is the centuries-old enemy of Israel and, the, and that the Vatican rubbed their hands in glee at the chimneys of, of Auschwitz. Now, he's right, it, Christians uh, did do the Holocaust. Uh, not only did uh, Hitler's troops and German uh, soldiers overall have slogans like Gott mit uns on their belts, that is God is with us, but uh, there are dozens of quotes from Hitler saying that he did the Holocaust for Jesus Christ and because he's a good Christian. Uh, and it is true uh, that uh, the Pope basically looked on while it happened. I don't know about Glee, but it was a shameful uh, part of the Vatican's history. But it is history. Nobody's looking to drink blood today. Yes, the missionaries are annoying. Yes, they do want to convert you to Christianity. Yes, you're fully within your, your rights to fight back against that ideologically. But I wouldn't go around uh, demagoguing like this because it could lead to bad things. It could lead to physical actions. It could lead to discrimination against Christians. By the way, 2% of Israel are Christians. It's a bad idea to profile any religion. But given that he's a radical, apparently he's not too concerned about that. Now, ha have they taken any real action, this group, though? Or is it just a matter of words? Well, let's go to some of the record on that. 
uh, two members of the group were indicted for torching a mixed Jewish Arab school in Jerusalem and spray painting Kahani was right on the wall uh, back in 2014. Well, that's not that long ago. Kahani again was their former leader who said uh, that we have to have a greater Israel. Who cares about the Muslims and Palestinians? Just drive them out. Um, so then the organization has also picketed interfaith weddings uh, in Israel, organized patrols in Jerusalem to look for mixed couples, why they sound lovely, and has distributed leaflets calling for people to name and shame Jewish landlords renting to Arabs. Yeah, they take real actions. They take them against uh, Muslims, they take them against Christians, and they take them against Jews who are not sufficiently pure in Israel, according to them. Um, and then in August, just weeks after a firebomb attack on the Church of Loaves and Fishes in northern Israel, Gopstein appeared to justify arson attacks on Christian holy sites, citing the teachings of the 12th century Jewish philosopher, uh, destroying idol worship. He said, quote, idolatry needs to be destroyed, he said at a panel discussion for yeshiva students, adding, quote, he was prepared to sit in jail for 50 years for saying it. Now, we're about the only show that I know of that covered that firebombing of that church. Uh, and uh, at the time, they didn't know who did it. We still don't know exactly who did it. I don't know how thorough that investigation has been. It's not just mosques and Muslim uh, places that they burned down. They burned down a, a church. Now, I, we don't know that it was them. We do know afterwards, they're like, whoever did it, way to go. So these guys are not just theoretical, they're real. We're worried that they're taking physical action, very significant, violent physical action. The authorities should look more into it, and a lot of Israelis certainly agree with that. Um, I wonder where all the guys who were talking about the war on Christmas are. Hey, Bill O'Reilly, where are you? We found it. There's the war on Christmas. What are you doing about it? This guy it's almost wants to make it a literal war. Where are you, Bill? Not a word. Now, luckily, uh, there are people who are fighting back, and uh, they are fellow Israelis. Uh, responding to Gopstein's rant uh, in Kuker, which is, I think, a pretty appropriate blog for uh, Gopstein, um, the Israeli Religious Action Center, those are the good guys, a movement for progressive Judaism, called for a police investigation into Mr. Gopstein and his goons for making comments that incited violent actions against the religious group and attempting to prevent Christmas celebrations. They also said, unfortunately, that the authorities uh, has, have had a th uh, thundering silence on this. So that's not encouraging. But what is encouraging is earlier this year, Israel's defense minister, Moshe Yalon, initiated an attempt to have Lahava categorized as a terrorist organization, but Israel's internal security agency, the Shin Bet, said it found insufficient evidence to have it outlawed. So whether they're going to have it outlawed or not is obviously an internal matter, but it's great news to, that there are fellow Israelis uh, especially ones that are in important government positions fighting back against this group. And, uh, and, and so they got to pick up the slack uh, at Fox News. Uh, I don't know why you're not joining the moderate Israelis uh, when we've got a war on Christmas. We know the Grinch who's doing it. And I just, I don't see Fox News anywhere. I'm just trying to help a brother out. You were looking for it for decades. We found it. Go get him, Papa Bear. Young term.